welcome the young and the old. We welcome you if you're worshiping with us for the very first time or you're sitting in the same pew you've sat in for many, many months. We welcome the energized and the tired. We welcome families of all shapes and sizes. We welcome the happy hearted and the grieving. We welcome you if you have it all together this morning. And we welcome you if life is simply a hot mess. There is more than enough room. Room for the complicated, room for all the questions. And we are glad the Spirit led you to worship in this space this day. For those worshiping in person, your worship guides are in hand. The hymnals are in the pew pockets in front of you. And if you are visiting with us today, we invite you to fill out the contact card, which is located in the pew pocket in front of you so that we can let you know how much we loved worshiping and praising the Lord with you today. You can place that in the offering plate when the offering plate comes by later in the service. For all worshiping with us online today, we welcome you. Your bulletin as well as hymns are located on the front page of our website under worship resources. And we encourage you to make note in the chat that you are part of our worshiping community today. We will be celebrating the Sacrament of Communion, so you should have been handed your elements as you walked in to worship this morning. For all worshiping from home this morning, run to the kitchen, grab some bread and some juice. We will bless it as one body, one community. A few announcements this morning. Come back to this afternoon. All are invited. Bring your furry friends, your stuffed animals, whatever you would like to our blessing of the animals at 4 p.m. on our playground. So all are welcome to come, bring your animals, and we will bless our animals that care so well for us. Next, uh, this Wednesday is our next Soul Feast, which is our church Wednesday night dinners. We encourage you to sign up by tomorrow. We'll gather around table, we'll break bread, we're gonna continue our study of the Trinity, and El Charo is cooking. So you won't be disappointed. <laughs> I also wanted to let you know there is a group from our congregation leaving today and tomorrow going to Montreat, North Carolina. We are part of the Thriving Congregations cohort and we are really excited to go up to Montreat and do some visioning and some imagining for our congregation. So please hold this team in your prayers. Change the World Day is coming up, on, coming up on October 22nd. This is a day the whole community gathers to care for one another. And we have signed up as a church family and we need your help. We need help preparing. We need help the day of. So you can find Curtis or Pastor Aaron and let them know that you would like to help with that. Church, I want to recognize some of our visitors today. We have um, visitors from the community of Presbyterian Village of Athens, and we are grateful for you coming to worship with us. We have representatives from our Presbytery, and we are glad that you are here worshiping with us. And you may notice some other guests who are with us, who are the word proclaimed today. This is Stillman College Concert Choir. They are under the leadership of Ms. Jocelyn K. Richardson. Beloved Stillman College is a private Presbyterian, historically black, liberal arts college from Tuscaloosa, Alabama, a place I got to call home. First Presbyterian Church Covington has a deeply rooted connection with Stillman College. Dr. Samuel B. Hay was ordained and called to serve First Pres Covington in the 1920s. In 1945, while he was serving in Alabama, he accepted a position to serve as president of Stillman College and was the second president. Dr. Hay's installation ceremony was boycotted by the other college presidents in the state due to racial bias. But Dr. Hay continued onward and served Stillman College through the mid-1960s. The Hay family legacy continues to this day in the form of the Hay College Center. It is the main student union on campus and the Francis Deering Hay Hall, 
which is a women's dorm named after his wife. It is a joy to celebrate from generation to generation our First Presbyterian Church connection with the fine institution of Stillman College. These young men and women, their call time was at 3.45 a.m., right? They are ready to praise the Lord. <laughs> So I want to thank you all for being here. I will remind you, during our opening hymn, if you were one of those that brought some bread for our World Communion Sunday, during our opening hymn, you can dance your bread up or walk, whatever you desire, but bring your bread up. You can place it in the baskets or on the communion table during the opening hymn. Beloved, let us now turn our hearts and minds to worshiping the living God.
Beloved, I invite you to stand and join me in the call to worship printed in our worship guide. Around the world, people gather to break bread and pour wine. We gather with them in heart and mind. Around the world, the broken body is made whole. As part of that body, we join in its unity. Around the world, the banquet of God is prepared for the table. We who share in the banquet come eagerly to be fed. Let us worship together. Let us share God's bounty. Sisters and brothers, God did not give us a spirit of cowardice, but rather a spirit of power and of love and of self-discipline. Therefore, relying on the love and grace which was given to us in Jesus Christ before the ages began, we courageously confess our sins together as we pray the community confession. Almighty God, 
You have called us to one table, but we have pursued our own course. You have promised us the abundance of all creation, but in our greed and in our envy, the world goes without. You have promised us the bread of life itself, but in our pride and in our arrogance, the world goes hungry. You have promised us the waters of peace and justice, but in our violence and in our discord, the world goes thirsty. Now we are famished too, Lord. Have mercy on us. Forgive us again. Transform us at this table and for this table and send us from this table as servants of your righteousness by the power of your Son. Amen. Friends, this grace was given to us in Jesus Christ before the ages began, but it has now been revealed through the appearing of our Savior, Christ Jesus, who abolished death and brought forth life and immortality to light through the gospel. We have died to sin in him, so let us live as people freed by grace for faith. Church, we indeed are forgiven. We are free to try again. Amen. Church, I invite you to put your worship guides down and your, your hymnals. We're going to dance the passing of the peace this morning. I invite you to place your hands over your heart and to extend them forward. Hands over your heart and extend them out into the world. And don't hit your neighbor, but you can sway a little bit. There we go. Please join me in saying, may the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. And also with you. Amen. You may be seated. Jesus says, let the children come. So we invite all the children, young and old, to join us down here on a dot on the floor. Hello, my friends. Good morning. It is wonderful to see you all here on this World Communion Sunday. Come on, friends. Come on, Valerie. Find a dot on the floor. There's your special place. Look at that. All right, so today is World Communion Sunday, which means people all over the world are celebrating the sacrament of communion when we eat bread and we drink of the cup and we are reminded of the good news of Jesus and how we are called to share the good news and God's love with everybody all around the world. So I thought this morning we can toss the ball up, I'll catch it, and wherever my thumb lands, we're going to pray for that part of the world today. Are you ready? Let's see if I can catch it. You ready? Woo, let's see. Oh, Brazil. All right, say, thanks be to God for Brazil. Ready, everybody? Thanks be to God for Brazil. All right, let's see where it lands this time. Oh, we're in China. Let's say, thanks be to God for China. Ready? 
Thanks be to God for China. All right, let's see. Ooh, Australia. Let's say thanks be to God for Australia. You ready? Thanks, thanks be to God for Australia. You want to do one more? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Wait, I didn't land. I landed in the ocean. Let's see. Oh, Ukraine. Let's say thanks be to God for Ukraine. Thanks be to God for Ukraine. So let's remember today, friends, and every day that we are called to pray for the whole wide world because God loves all of our siblings in Christ all around the world. And let us remember when we take communion that our friends that live all around the world that love God too, they're taking communion today as well. So let us give thanks. I invite you to do your prayer hands. And bow your heads in congregation. You can repeat after me as well. Dear God, thank you for today. Thank you for the whole wide world. Help us share your love with all people. We love you. Amen. All right, my friends, you can wiggle and giggle in your seats or you can go back to the nursery, okay? All right. Seek ye first the kingdom of his love. Make him first in everything you do. If you just trust and never doubt what he said, all good things will be added unto you. Seek ye first the kingdom of his love. Make him first in everything you do. If you just trust and never doubt what he said, all good things will be added unto you. Twice he fed a multitude with the smallest bit of food, and they all gave thanks to God that day. Still today we won't believe that to give is to receive, that the words he said will never fade. Seek ye first the kingdom of his love. Make him first in everything you do. If you just trust and never doubt what he said, all good things will be added unto you. He's got everything you need. All he asks is that you heed and be faithful to the very end. 
When that judgment day has come, don't you want to be that one just to see his face and call him friend? Seek ye first the kingdom of his Lord. Make him a first in everything you do. If you just trust and never doubt what he said, all good things will be added unto you. Thanks be to God for the gift of music, and thanks be to God for Stillman College. Amen? Amen. Before we hear God's word read and proclaim this day through music, let us go to God in prayer and ask for illumination. Holy God, as we hear your word read and proclaimed, guide us to discern the sound teaching you have for us. With the help of the Holy Spirit, entrust to us your good treasure, and through it, make us alive in faith. Amen. Our first reading comes from the Gospel of John, chapter 13, verses 31 through 35. Hear God's word for us this day. When when he had gone out, Jesus said, Now the Son of Man has been glorified, and God has been glorified in him. If God has been glorified in him, God will also glorify him in himself and will glorify him at once. Little children, I am with you only a little longer. You will look for me, and as I said to the Jews, so now I say to you, where I am going, you cannot come. I give you a new commandment, that you love one another. Just as I have loved you, you also should love one another. By this, everyone will know that you are my disciples, if you have love for one another. Friends, this is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our second reading for us this morning is 1 John chapter 4 verses 7 through 21. Hear now the word of the Lord. Beloved, let us love one another, because love is from God. Everyone who loves is born of God and knows God. Whoever does not love does not know God, for God is love. God's love was revealed among us in this way. God sent his only son into the world so that we might live through him. In this love, not that we loved God, but that he loved us and sent his son to be the atoning sacrifice for our sins. Beloved, since God loved us so much, we also ought to love God one another. No one has ever seen God. If we love one another, God lives in us, and his love is perfected in us. By this we know that we abide in him and he in us, because he has given us of his spirit. And when we have seen, and when we have seen and do testify that the Father has sent his Son as the Savior of the world, God abides in those who confess that Jesus is the Son of God, and they abide in God. So we have known and believed that the love that God has for us. God is love, and those who abide in love abide in God, 
and God abides in them. Love has been perfected among us in this way, that we may have boldness on the day of judgment, because as he is, so we, uh, we in this world. There is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear. For fear has to do with punishment, and whoever fears has not reached perfection in love. We love because he first loved us. Those who say, I love God and hate their brothers and sisters are liars. For those who do not love a brother or sister whom they have seen cannot love God whom they have not seen. The commandment we have for him is this. Those who love God must love their brothers and sisters also. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
Tyler Williams, Columbus, Mississippi. Jayon Elvis, Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Isaiah Ramsey, Birmingham, Alabama. Johnny from Valentine, from Bahamas. Trini Smith, Tuscaloosa, Alabama. And Tiki Reese, Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Tiny, Tiny, Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Grandpa, Birmingham, Alabama. Young Love, Phil, Bahamas. Ivan Todd, Phil, Bahamas. Keontae Smith, Duncanville, Alabama. Terrence Price in Detroit, Michigan. Ermine G in Freeport, Bahamas. Sierra Frost, Freeport, Bahamas. To me and Little, Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Sierra Johnson, Los Angeles, California. Brian Beck, Nashville, Tennessee. Kennedy Larry, Westmore, Mississippi. Percy R. Marion, Alabama. Devontae Brown, Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Damon Smith, Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Amaya Tatum, Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Tiviana Tubbs, Greensboro, Alabama. Jacqueline Peoples, Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Have fresh air for Columbus, Mississippi. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's praying, I can't feel it. Somebody's praying for me. Mighty hands are guiding me to protect me from what I can't see. Somebody's praying for me. Angels are watching. I can't feel it. Angels are watching over me. Angels watching I walk the barren wilderness when my pillow was a stone. I been through the darkest ever when my life was ever shown. Still I went now, there were people who 
were down on their knees. And I thank the Lord for people praying all this time for me. Yes, that I'm blessed. I can tell the world, yes, about this. I can tell the nation, yes, that I'm blessed. I can tell the world, yes, about this. I can tell the nation, yes, that I'm blessed. I can tell the nation, yes, that I'm blessed. Tell what my Lord has done. Tell him the conqueror has come. And he brought joy, joy, joy to my soul. Yes, that I'm blessed. I can tell the world. Yes, about this. I can tell the nation. Yes, that I'm blessed. Yes, I can tell the nation. Yes, that I'm blessed. Tell what my Lord has done. Tell him the conqueror has come. And he brought joy, joy, joy to my soul. I can tell the world. Yes, about this. I can tell the nation. Yes, that I'm blessed. My Lord done just what he said. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. He healed the sick and he raised the dead. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. He lifted me when I was down. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. He placed my feet on solid ground. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. I can tell the world, yes, about this. I can tell the nation, yes, that I'm blessed. I can tell the world, yes, about 
we all say amen. 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 Church, hearing the word read and proclaimed, let us stand and affirm what we believe as one body. I invite you to stand and join me in the affirmation of faith, the Apostles' Creed printed in our worship guide. Church, what do we believe? I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who is conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. I invite you to be seated. I encourage you, church, to look at the insert in our worship guide of how we can care for one another, pray with and for one another this day. And now let us turn to the living God in prayer. God of peace. On this World Communion Sunday, we come in prayer seeking your promise, a peace that surpasses understanding. When we look out at the world, we see war and division, heartache and hopelessness, violence and hurt. We lament with the world's suffering, knowing that you weep with us. Transform our tears into signs of hope, with the gift of water resting on the tear-soaked cheeks, falling in fresh rains and blessing us in the baptismal fonts, pour forth your peace into a dry and weary world. God of righteousness, we come in prayer waiting quietly for your salvation. We pray for those who are lost and lonely, for those who are suffering, sick, and scared for those who've lost homes and businesses through natural disaster, for the fragile and the forgotten, for war-torn countries and divided lands, for children and the aged caught in conflict, for those on the margins seeking to meet you. Help us to trust that your mercies are new every morning, from the smallest mustard seed of faith, Stir in us the will to be part of your transformation of the world. God of justice, we come in prayer seeking your vision for a more just and merciful war world filled with joy. Grant us eyes to see new possibilities for relationship and restoration. Embolden us not only to see God, but to act. Empower us to write the vision of the world where systems and structures are built to serve the least of these. Of a world where structural racism is replaced by reconciliation and repair. Of a world where poverty is transformed into plenty. Of a world where justice and joy reign. In our actions and our prayers, help us to be your people of justice and peace. Through your spirit of power and love, empower us to serve the least of these who are our siblings in Christ, the sick and imprisoned, the hungry and thirsty, the lonely. In our love of neighbor, open our eyes to see your presence among us. So God of joy, we come in prayer seeking you. As the mountains and the hills burst into song, say, so may we return your praise and glory to you. As all creation bears witness to your goodness, so may we bear witness to the image of God in one another that you called very good. And as the trees of the fields clap their hands at your mighty acts, so, so may we, our hands, clap for joy when your justice and peace reigns. For all these things, 
We pray through Christ our risen Lord. Amen. Amen. Beloved, to us much as can, has been given, we must recognize it all belongs to the Lord. You may give to our offering today using the text to give offering in our worship guide. You may give as the offering plate comes by. We also are collecting a special love offering for you for Stillman College Choir. So if you'd like to give to the Stillman College Choir today, if you write a check, just put it in the memo line. You can write it to First Pres. We promise all will end up with Stillman College Choir. You can also go and do the text to give and click Love Offering. With that, church, let us give with grateful hearts, for there is an abundance to share.
Church, Christ's table is wide, and God welcomes all. Jesus dined with sinners and with saints, with farmhands and foreigners, with disciples and with doubters, with children and cherished friends. Christ dined with the outcast and the outspoken, with lepers and loved ones. And just as he ate at others' tables, when Christ set his banquet table, he welcomed us all too. As we gather around Christ's table, we are united with all of God's beloved around the world. Through the love and grace made known to us, through the bread broken and the cup shared. So come to the table. Come all to the table where we witness Christ's love and peace for all people. Come to the table of abundance. We pray together responsively following the great prayer of thanksgiving found in our worship guide. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. God of seeds and soil, your feast begins long before a morsel of food touches our lips. You begin with dirt and dust with water and sun, ingredients that you supplied from the very beginning, knowing we would be hungry, understanding that we would be thirsty. You nourish us and provide for us before breathing life into us. You, O oh great creator, started providing your gifts for us from the very beginning. You began this feast in the soil with your hands, and for that we give you thanks. God of grain and grapes, you continued preparing for the feast by sending your son, Jesus Christ. You sent him to feed us, 
By his words and deeds through his death and resurrection, he became the bread of life and the wine of compassion. Christ is the one who gathers us in, who calls each of us by name, who sets a place for us. For the invitation, for the nourishment, and for Jesus Christ, we give you thanks. God of wheat and wine, long after your son first gathered his friends around a table in an upper room, your Holy Spirit has continued meeting us at tables, handcrafted tables painted with intricate designs, and weathered park benches that serve as a place to eat when needed. Tables that are covered with homemade casseroles and tables with quickly opened fast food bags. Tables that are surrounded by friends and families and tables where only one seat is filled. No matter what each table looks like, the food that is served or the people gathered around it, your spirit meets us still. God of second helpings, you promise abundance. Like a mother who heaps another spoonful onto our already full plates, you give more than we need. Yet despite your generosity, there are those whose bellies are still empty and those whose thirst is never quenched. As we celebrate your joyful feast today with our siblings in Christ around the world, we are aware that no amount of singing can hide the sound of grumbling stomachs and parched throats. Help us to trust in your promises. As we eat this bread and drink this cup, may we trust that there is enough to go around. Keep us from hoarding what you have provided so that all of your children might taste and see, drink and be satisfied. God of the joyful feast, today in the north and in the south, in the east and in the west, we are grateful as we meet you around tables full of gifts you have given us. Continue to pour out your spirit upon us so that when the meal is over and when we leave this table, we might be a part of extending every table around the world. Help every meal we share look more and more like your heavenly feast. Everyone welcomed, everyone fed, everyone nourished. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord, we pray, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. The Lord Jesus, on the night of his arrest, took bread. He blessed it and he broke it. And he gave it to his disciples saying, Take, eat, this is my body given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And in the same way, he took the cup. He said, this is the cup of the new covenant poured for the forgiveness of sins. Every time you drink of it, do so in remembrance of me. Church, every time we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim the good news of the risen Lord until he comes again. These are the gifts of God for the people of God. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. You may take your communion elements at this time. God of peace and God of song, God of abundance. We give our thanks for the whole communion of saints witness to this feast. 
By this broken bread, may we each be restored to the work that is yet to come. And by this shared cup, may we each be claimed for the proclamation of your kingdom. Thy kingdom come. And all God's children say, Amen. May the whole world know that we are Christians by our love. Turn to your neighbor and say, God loves you. God loves you. Now let's face the windows and shout it out to the world, God loves you. God loves you. And as we go from this place, may you see the face of Christ in everyone you meet. And may everyone you meet see the face of Christ in you. And all God's children say, Amen. Amen.